Our next contestant, contestant number 16, Gabriel Chin. And hear what you hear. And hear what you hear, Gabriel Chin. Hi, my name is G A B R I E L. And I'm here today to talk to you about what you can't hear. You know, the deaf are often misunderstood and contrary to popular belief, they do not live in a world of silence. They are able to find many ways to add vibrance into their lives. And I have to say, that's because they are some of the hardiest people I've ever seen. My aunt, who knew sign language, taught at Boon Lay Secondary School as an interpreter where eight children from the School of the Deaf had been integrated into after having done well in their PSLE. And she always told me that being deaf was widely regarded as a disability. But her students, they functioned as though they didn't have one. In fact, sometimes I feel that they have superpowers because they never fall asleep in class. Boon Chow, one of her students, who lived in Johor Bahru, had to wake up before 5 a.m. every morning just to reach school on time. And one of my favorite stories was when he went on a trip overseas with his family. And they got lost. So his family approached a local grocer to ask for directions. But the grocer, he, he spoke no English, but was using lots of hand gestures. And you know, the deaf are really amazing in that they're great at reading body language. So in this case, while his family hadn't a clue as to what the grocer was saying, Boon Chow was actually understanding him perfectly fine. And he conveyed that message to his parents, and they managed to find their way back. Having disabilities and a lack of opportunities, we might think that these people simply accept the fact that they won't go far in life. But these people, they make the best out of what they have. Dame Evelyn Glenny is a virtuoso percussionist. And you know what? She's deaf. And she's not just any percussionist either. She's won three Grammys, been awarded the Royal Philharmonic Society's Best Soloist of the Year, performed in the London Olympics, and even been knighted by the Queen. You get the picture. She's big. And we might wonder how a deaf person who we might never have taught to even be able to enjoy music gets so far with a career in music. Well, sound is a series of different frequen frequencies that cause vibrations. And when those vibrations hit our eardrum, that's what we perceive as sound. But Evelyn, she hears more than that. She views her entire body as a resonating chamber. And although her ears don't work, she perceives sound through other parts of her body. So my question to all of you is what do you hear? I'm here today to tell you to unhear what you hear. And that's not just to clarify misconceptions about being deaf. Rather, I'm here to encourage all of you that you can do anything. And if you don't know what to do, get inspired. I was inspired by Evelyn, by my aunt, by Boon Chow, to come here and share this with all of you today. And I believe that's why we are all here today, to share something. And hopefully those sharings those little sparks will go a long way in someone else's lives. And so, and hear the lies that tell you you can't. Because the truth is, despite what you have been hearing, you already have what it takes to succeed. So, from today onwards, always remember to unhear what you hear. Thank you.